Hey, good top of the morning to you whosoever's trying to get a morning message in. I know to the 20 people who view it, then you know what? I can make a difference. Sometimes it says, the Lord says, do it unto one person. If one person hears the gospel, if one person gets saved, it's worth more than anything in this world can give you. So today's uh, morning uh, little devotion. You know, last week we talked about the impartable sin. Today's message, if I may, is can a Christian lose their salvation? You know, when I when I first got saved, I used to think I, I lost my salvation every other week. But when you, when you get into God's Word and, and you start meditating, you know, chewing, milk, sucking on the milk of the Word, you know, the Lord starts speaking about you that, you know, you were never saved by being good in the first place. You were saved by God's grace and mercy and a blood atonement for you. Now, now, what makes you a child of God is the fact that God is your father. If that makes sense. You know, as a father, I have one son. His name is Sergio. And I know he's my kid. And whether he's good or bad doesn't, does not stop him from being my kid. Because I birthed him. You know, me and my wife birthed him. So knowing this, you know, when God birthed you being born again, you know, he starts a work in your life. You know, you, you start as a baby. You start growing. You start sucking on the milk of the word. You know, there's a lot of people who don't grow ever as a Christian. They remain babies in Christ because they never really ever uh, matured through the milk of the word and in the meat of the word. You know, a sincere believer are sharply divided on this. That is another thing. You know, I got a brother named Chewy. He always tells me that, you know, you can lose your salvation. And I said, if you could lose your salvation, you were never saved in the first place. And God says, you know, um, and you know, that's a promise. That he who started good work in you is faithful and just to complete it unto the day of salvation. But there is a discrepancy between Christians. Can a Christian lose their salvation? Some say Christians can lose their salvation. And there's, again, those who say you can't. Um, through sin. But they can't apostatize or walk away from their salvation. We say, oh, you can't lose your salvation, but you can walk away. Still others hold that salvation begins at the moment of conversion, not death, and continues for all eternity. I hold this view for several reasons. First, outward appearance can be deceiving. You know how many guys have we seen in cults with the, with the tie and going around and preaching the gospel and, you know, they're, they're, they're never saved. They're wolves in sheep's clothing, right? Remember, remember, consider uh, Judas. Judas was the treasurer. And if anybody thought, you know, was close to God, was the one that was holding the money back. You know, for three years, he was part of the Christ's inner circle. You know, assistant pastor. Okay? From all outward appearance, he was a true follower of Christ. Yet, Jesus characterized Judas as a devil. John chapter 6 verse 70 the book of Hebrews warns us that there are Jews who like Judas tasted God's goodness and yet turned from his grace they acknowledged Christ with their lips but their apostasy proved the faith was not you know genuine now furthermore we could do well to remember that everlasting life means just that everlasting this life does not begin when we die but when we embrace the Savior who died in our place as our physical birth can never be undone, so too our spiritual birth can never be undone. Christ said, ye must be born again, John chapter 3, verse 7. Not, ye must be born again, and again, and again, and again, and again. In Philippians, Paul praises God for the confidence that he who began a good work in you will carry it on unto the day of completion. Finally, Scripture is replaced with passages that testify of security to the believer. I mean, a good one is John chapter 5, verse 24. It says, assures that he who believes has eternal life. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 8, promises that Christ will keep you strong to the end. 
And Jude chapter 24 guarantees that God is able to keep you from falling and to present you before His glorious presence without fault. Furthermore, or moreover, the book of Ephesians provides the surety that you are marked in Him with a seal. The promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's promises. You know, we have an inheritance in heaven. We also have a heavenly citizenship. So every time you get unsaved, you lose your. Oh, you're not. A, you're not. You're not a citizen of heaven no more. Go back to your your evil ways. Oh, today you're a, a citizen of heaven again. When does it stop? Right. Remember also, Ephesians provides us the surety that you are marked in Him and with a seal. He promised the Holy Spirit, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession. You know, having the Holy Spirit, it's a it's a deposit, kind of like when we used to go to Kmart, and I used to like those. I was super poor. Still, I'm poor, but it was more super poor because I didn't have a job. But we would put away, you know, we would give ten dollars on a fifty dollar item, and you would tell Kmart, "Hey, Kmart, I'm coming back for that. I'm gonna buy it in payments," and you would. But the Holy Spirit is a deposit to us, guaranteeing our redemption. As he has said, well said, the Lord, trees are evergreen. And again, uh, John chapter 10, verse 27 through 29 says this, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than them all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, um, having that faith in God, when we go through trials, when we go through things in life, you know, we can lay hold of the Lord's promises uh, to bring us through, to carry us through, to pick us up, to speak to us. You know, sometimes we want to give up and, you know, put our head down. And the Lord says, what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you depressed about, homie? Oh, fuck. You would go off, you know, and then the Lord says, you know, man, this is nothing. You know, I got greater plans for you. You can trust the Lord. You could, like, like the old saying, the old timers used to say, you could take that to the bank. And again, knowing, knowing that the God is for you. Who can be against you? You look at life and you think to yourself, man. You know, you, you, you think you thank the Lord for everything you have. Because it's everything that God has given you. And, and you look at your circumstances right now, carnal, if my, can I encourage you with this? You know, God got great plans for you, eternal plans. You know, a new body, a new heaven, a new earth, you know? Check yourself. Take a more inventory, you know. See how your life is, you know. Look at the mirror of God's Word and, and, and compare your life to it. And you're like, man, I need to, you know. And what that mirror does in all our lives, carnal, is it shows us that we're dirty. You know? And we're going to be dirty until the day the Lord takes us home. Because no one, you know, the, the perfect Word of God, and you're reflecting that your attitudes, your, the way you look at life, the way you treat people, you're short-tempered, you're, you know, all these things, you know, come into the forefold of all our relationships, not only with us and God, but, you know, the cross of the horizontal relationships, whether it be, a, you know, girlfriends or friends or coworkers or bosses, you know, all these things need to be lined up. So may the Lord bless you guys. Be girded, be strengthened, Lord. The Lord's return is at hand. It's closer today than it was yesterday. So may the Lord bless you guys. Be encouraged. Live your day. Love your loved ones. Love your family. Say, you know, tell your kids you love them. And tell your hijita, you know, is there anything I could do for you? What a lady.